Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my February favorites and I have a little bit of stuff to show you, some products I've really been enjoying. So if you want to see them, then please just keep watching. The first product I'm going to mention is a product that I mainly bought because it was the month of February and that is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Now I'm sure everyone has been talking about this this month mainly because it has such beautiful rosy shades. It's mainly like a rose gold neutral palette and I absolutely have been loving this palette for this month. I've really been enjoying these colors right here. The first half of the palette is just really easy to create a simple day look and as well as transferring it into a night look and I just think this is a great palette. If you like purpley shades and gold shades then you will definitely really enjoy this palette. Next product is a product that I bought on my birthday in 2013 and I kind of have not been showing it as much love as I would like to and this is the Dior Attic Lip Gloss in the color Dermuse and it's just your basic baby pink lip gloss and the reason why I got this was because of the formula the formula is super buttery and glossy and it's just such a pretty pink I don't know if you'll be able to see that it just gives your lips a nice light wash of pink and you can top this off with any nude lip gloss or any pink lip gloss and it just looks absolutely stunning Dior has probably one of the best lip gloss formulas that I've ever tried. They're just so creamy and buttery without being sticky and they last a really long time throughout the day and that's mainly the reason why I've been loving this product this My last makeup product I want to talk about is a new mascara. Now, I don't like to experiment with my mascaras because once I find one I really love, I stick to it. And on my channel, I always use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. That is my holy grail mascara. I absolutely love it. It just gives my eyelashes everything I want in a mascara. But I recently decided to try the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. Everyone was talking about it, saying how lovely it is and how it lengthens your lashes and is clump free. And I decided to try it. The only reason I stayed away from it is because of the brush. I'm not a fan of brushes that kind of have a curve. Um, I have really long eyelashes in the corner and well my whole eyelashes are really long but I have ones that kind of stick at like kind of like butterfly lashes. My eyelashes like to wing out at the end and I find it really hard to use these types of brushes to really get in that outer corner. But I've really been enjoying this mascara. There is no clumps whatsoever. It lengthens my lashes, gives me volume. I'm not someone who needs volume, but I do like to lengthen my eyelashes even though they're already pretty long. But I really like this mascara. If you like a clump-free, easy type of formula, you'll definitely enjoy this. This next product is a product I've already made a video about, but I kind of wanted to mention it in my favorites because I've seriously been using this ever since I got it. And this is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Split End Bandage. This is basically just a serum that you put on the ends of your hair, mainly to control split ends and how frizzy they can be and how dry they can be. And it just really nourishes those part of your hair and it just makes it look like your hair is so healthy and so shiny. And basically this is formulated with phytokeratin complex and cup aco butter. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it just prevents split ends and reconstructs and preserves hair strength. And I've been using this ever since I got it and I really, really love it. The next it. product is a little sample product I've been trying, but I definitely am loving it. I'm definitely gonna go out and purchase the full size of this. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. And this is just the little points perk I picked up at Sephora for 100 points because I really wanted to buy the full size but I was unsure and I really like charcoal products because I do have um, oily skin and I do have somewhat medium sized pores but I do like to once in a while kind of deep clean them and get all the dirt and oil out. And what I really like about this product is that it's not a thick mask. It's really thin and you can build it up to however much product you like. And you can kind of feel it start 
warming up on your skin and tingling a little bit and that just means the mask is starting to work and it's starting to dry and I just really love how my face feels after I wash this off. I feel so clean and my skin just feels so fresh and I really noticed an improvement with oil and somewhat of the blackheads I have and I just really enjoy this and I'm definitely gonna go pick up a full size of this when I run it. This next product I want to talk about is a product I've had in my collection but I'm mainly starting to use it much more this month and this is the Almond and Coconut Smoothie from Lush and this honestly is probably one of my favorite products from Lush and this is one of the first products I ever bought from them and it this is basically what it looks like and it smells so good but this is just I love this and it just says to smooth all over your wet body let the luxurious oils and butter soften and cleanse your skin and gently rinse, rinse away and I love this I love all lush shower smoothies but this is definitely my favorite one it smells the best and it leaves my skin feeling so moisturized and I can smell the scent on my skin all day two more products to show you and they're still on this topic of scents and this is one of the new uh, body creams from Bath and Body Works and this is the golden magnolia sun and this is just the body cream I love Bath and Body Works body creams. They're so moisturizing and they smell so good. And this one says it has pink magnolia, golden apricot, and sensual vanilla. Now it's a 24 hour moisture protection and this just smells like heaven. This reminds me of like something you would put on your body after you've been at the beach. I don't know why I get that type of scent from it, but it literally just reminds me of the beach and it smells so good. It's hard to explain. I don't smell vanilla in this at all. If anything, I do smell apricot. Um, I don't know what magnolia smells like, but this just smells Divine. And the last product I want to show you is a product that I think goes really well with that body cream. And this is the Coach Poppy Perfume. Now this is the original Poppy Perfume. I know they have a bunch of other ones, but this is just strictly Coach Poppy. And first off, this bottle is gorgeous. I absolutely love the cap. It's just gold and embroidered with the word Poppy and Coach all over it. And this basically just smells like flowers, like fresh cut flowers, and a little bit of cucumber. It just smells so fresh, and now that spring and summer is on its way, I just think this is a really great scent. And it smells so good when you have the body cream on under the perfume. Now there's one more thing I want to show you, and it's a, something that I've recently, I've had it for a really long time, but I just had nowhere to really put it and I finally found a spot for it now it's kind of hard to pick up so this is just my acrylic lipstick holder that I finally decided to put on my vanity and display my favorite lipsticks that I love to use I just think this is such a girly item to have if you have a makeup vanity or a desk where you just want to display all your favorite colorful lipsticks I just think this looks so good on my white desk and when I walk in every time I see it it just makes me so happy but I absolutely love this. I got this um, acrylic holder from Winners for about $6. You can get it on Amazon. They have a bunch of different sizes, but I absolutely love this. And if you're a lipstick hoarder like I am, you can definitely use this in your life. So those are all my monthly favorites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what your monthly favorites were down in the comments below. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.